Polina. Hi, Anna. So Polina is a speech and language pathologist and a nutrition educator. And she also ch uh, deals with play therapy mm -hmm. and any kind of challenging behaviors. So we ask parents uh, to send in online and by email and text and in person <laughs> questions pertaining to their kids' behaviors about issues with nutrition, picky eating, um, speech, language, mm -hmm. frustrations. And one of the questions we got is this. My 18 months old is refusing most foods, including foods that he used to love. He is also eating very li little quantity of food and I'm starting to get concerned. What would you say? Or how would you approach this? So, of course, as a parent, it's concerning. And mm -hmm. my first thing would be to acknowledge the parent's concern. Like, yes, you, mm -hmm. it's, you're, you're rightfully concerned because mm -hmm. as a parent, you feel like you're, if you're not feeding your child, you're failing as a parent. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of the work that I do is not just with the child, but it's also with the parent. Because I want the parent to have confidence and, and say that, oh, I can put anything in front of my child and he or she will eat it. So there's definitely a, par a parenting piece where you're not failing as a parent, mm -hmm. if, even though you feel like at that moment you are. Yes. And the other part is my question is about the feeding environment. So that's one of the first things I focus on. Okay. How is the environment structured for mealtime? Um, and it's three simple questions. So it's besides how the environment structure is, what is being served? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's a what. Um, when is it being served? So the timing of the of the meal, um, and where? So the location, mm -hmm. and that's where the environment comes in. Um, so those three pieces of information I like to get. Um, and then the other one is: is the child eating alone? Okay. Um, or is somebody else there with the child actually participating in in that process? Thank you for visiting our YouTube channel. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. And if you have questions for any of our experts, we want to know. Leave a comment or send us an email. Thank you and see you soon.